It sits under the gates of harmonious interests, where lines stand guard. It's full of color, vibrancy, small shops with goods and produce, restaurants and coffee shops. There's a lot of history in Victoria's Chinatown. Established in 1858 after the discovery of gold in British Columbia, this Chinatown is the oldest in Canada and second in age only to San Francisco in North America. But as this place has grown and changed over the years, there's always room for discovery. That's where this old lantern comes in. Basically, the lantern is a very complex object. Recently found in the estate of Jack and Bessie Tang, this lantern was made by the Chinese Freemasons and is now at the Royal BC Museum. Well, the elder told us that the, the Chinese Freemason lantern was um, actually made um, for a lantern festival. Um, um, probably uh, in one of the years in 1930s and after that it was sitting in the basement um, in the previous um, secretary of uh, Chinese Freemasons. It's very delicate, ripping apart in some areas, damaged in others. This lantern won't be brought back to its original condition, but the Royal BC Museum conservator Lisa Bengston will be doing her best to preserve the lantern. The paper is very weakened and damaged because of the materials that it's made out of and the environment that it was probably stored or displayed in. So it's very delicate to work with. The lantern is um, um, is important in its artistic value because it preserves like uh, one of the oldest uh, art and craft uh, tradition in from China, which is called running horse. The central panels where you really show the traditional um, calligraphy and um, paintings, they all have um, at least um, double, triple, or multiple meanings and uh, the bottom panels uh, have the contributors' names, which um, bring us back to 1930s Victoria's Chinatown and all these very important people who made uh, that history. One of the only surviving people to have seen it in its original glory is Victoria City Councillor Charlene thornton Joe's father, John Joe Chow. But I, my dad talks about the lantern. He remembers it wedding. He also looks carefully to see if our, our grandfather's name is written on it. Frank Lowe's family history is also attached to the lantern. Well, we didn't even know that his name was on there until Mr. John Joe recognized my grandfather's name on the lantern. But this lantern is not the only piece of history remembered. From building the Canadian Pacific Railway, to the head tax, to exclusions, and the contributions of Chinese Canadians to Canada, both Lowe and Thornton Joe say this is a way to right what was wrong. It's, uh, it, it's an honour for us for many years, as you know, of uh, historical uh, injustices, and now we see that uh, uh, you know, some of those injustices are made right. And that's important for us as a community, uh, to let the past be healed and sort of move forward into a, a new uh, uh, future that involves all Canadians of all ethnic origin. Having this exhibit gave many of us the opportunity to share our stories, our joy, and often our sorrow of our lives during the 20th century in Chinatown. You can see the lantern being preserved and restored in front of your eyes until September right here at the Royal BC Museum. In Victoria, I'm Suchetta Singh.